Hello friends and welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this really pretty Mother's Day card using watercolor. So I'm using my Muno pan paints and what I'm about to do to begin with is to wet down the colors. I'm just putting a drop of water into the colors that I want to use and those colors are yellow, permanent rose, olive green, Burnt Umber, Van Dyke Brown, Ultramarine Blue, Naples Yellow, and French Gray. Now you don't have to have this particular set to participate. You can use whatever colors you have in your set. Now I like to also put a little bit of water into my palette. So that way when I place the colors in there, the colors will be very diluted. That's the style that I want for this painting. And I have two bowls of water here as well. So when I mix my colors, I use an old brush because mixing the colors from pan paints can be a little harsh on your brush. So make sure not to use your good brushes. Use an old brush that you have lying around. So now that my colors have been awakened or activated, you can see how easy it is to pick the color up and place it into my palette. And again, you can use whatever colors you like. These are just the colors that I chose. I wanted to have very soft colors and I'm making sure that my paint is nice and diluted so that the value of the color is not very deep. I want it to be very light. And I'm mixing the Naples yellow with the French gray because that is the color that I will be using to create the petals of the daisies that I'm going to show you how to paint. And I'm using a new watercolor paper that I've not used before. It was recommended to me because I do a lot of tutorials and using the Arsh 100% cotton watercolor paper can get kind of expensive even though I cut my sheets into quarters. So this paper here is by Fluid and it's 100% cotton and you get 15 sheets and it is 140 pound and it is bound with glue on two sides. I paid I think $12 for this size and this is a 6 by 8 which is the perfect size for tutorials. So if you're looking to step up your paper from say Canson XL to 100% cotton watercolor paper, this would be a great start. And it works much better than the Canson XL. So you can see my painting there that we're, I'm going to show you how to create. Very simple. I'm picking up the yellow and I'm using a size four silver black velvet brush and I'm creating half circles for the centers of the daisies. So I'm going to place my half circles wherever I want them. And then I'm going to rinse off my brush, dry it off, make sure there's not a lot of water on it because the brown that I am adding to those half circles, I want it to be a little bit um, a heavier consistency. And because those centers are still wet, that brown will kind of blend into them. Blend into them. Now I'm using the mix of the Naples Yellow and French Gray to create the petals. And you can see how easy this is. I'm just using the tip of the brush, creating the shape of the petal that I want. And then I'll just go back and fill it in. And what's nice is that because the center is still a little wet, when you touch that center to create your petal, some of that color will bleed into the petal. And that's a really nice look. If you don't like that look, you can always wait until your centers are dry and then add your petals. Now in this one, my paint was a little too uh, dark and it bled into my center. So all you have to do is just use a clean damp brush to pick up that color from the center of the flower and then you can go back and add more of the yellow. And I thought the petals on this particular flower were a little too dark, so I'm using a clean damp brush to lift some of that color from the petals. Now I'm picking up a little bit of the pink and you can see I'm adding more water to it so it's nice and diluted. And I'm just creating a couple of strokes using the tip of the brush to create these little flower petals. 
Some of them will have two or, I'm sorry, three or four petals. You can add as many as you like it to your painting. <laughs> and while the petals are still wet, I'm picking up a little heavier consistency of that pink and dropping it at the base of each of the petals. Like a bird on a tree. You can see me doing that here. And because the petals are still wet, that color will blend in with the lighter shade and create a really nice look once it's dry. Now I'm using the ultramarine blue and you can see I'm creating four or five petal flowers. But I'm trying to make these a little bit different than the pink ones. And you'll see what I mean. And again, I'm just using the tip of the brush to create the shape and then filling it in. And while the petals are still wet, I'm picking up a heavier consistency of the ultramarine blue and dropping it into the base of each of the petals. Now I'm using the olive green to create the stems. And again, this brush that I'm using is a size four, so it's a nice small size to create the stems just using the tip of the brush. Make sure to follow through even uh, behind the other flowers with your stems. As you see me doing here. Now I'm going to create a little foliage to fill in the empty areas. And you can see I drew my stem, or rather painted my stem, and now I'm using the tip of the brush to create these um, leaves off of this particular stem. And it's really easy to do. Use the tip of your brush to start the leaf, add a little pressure to the brush, which forces the bristles to spread out a little bit and then lift back up to the point of the brush and you'll get these really pretty and simple uh, leaves. You can also just use the tip of the brush to create the shape of the leaf and fill in the area in the center. Nothing about this has to be perfect. It's a very loose floral painting. And you can see I have two different greens on there. Um, I forget what other green I used. I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning. But use whatever greens you like. I just like to have a combination of greens so that um, it looks a little different. It adds a little variety to the painting and makes it more interesting. Now I'm adding these larger and longer leaves. And all I'm doing is creating a couple of strokes to create the shape of the leaf. And adding some smaller leaves as well. Just filling in wherever I think I need a leaf. Now I'm going to add a little bit more gray to the mix of the Naples yellow and French gray. And I also added a little bit of blue the ultramarine blue to that mix. And I'm using the tip of the brush to create this other foliage. I don't even think this is an actual leaf or, or I, I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. They don't have to be actual flowers. It's pretty regardless. So I'm creating a stem and then off of that stem, I'm creating smaller stems. And at the end of each, I'm just using the tip of the brush to add a little circle. And I think it's a really cute filler.
Now that I've finished painting all my flowers, I'm picking up a heavier consistency, made sure that I dried my brush off after I cleaned it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm picking up the brown color and I'm creating centers for those blue flowers, just using the tip of the brush, adding a few dots. And here I'm creating um, a line so I can make sure that I write straight. And I'm just simply writing mom. And I'm using a Micron brush pen. Now, if you don't have this pen, you can use any kind of pen that you like. I'm just sitting here. I got time. And of course, it's not centered properly, but that's okay. I'm just going to add a little heart at the end of mom to fill in the area so that it appears a little bit more centered. At least in my mind. <laughs> And once the Micron is dry, I'm using the eraser on the back of my pencil to remove the pencil lines. Be careful when you're doing that. Make sure you don't rub too hard because you can change the texture of the paper. Now, once you're finished and this is completely dry, you can adhere your painting to a card. And these are a couple of other cards that I made. I made some with flowers that look like hearts. And this was a lot of fun to do. Now I'm adding a little butterfly. After I finished the painting, I decided a little butterfly was, would be cute. So you can see how easy it is to create a butterfly. The wings are almost the same shape as the petals that we created. Then I'm picking up the brown and creating a little dot for the head and making a little C curve for the body and adding the antennas. You can add as many or as little as you like. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this painting and that you give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions and please don't forget to like, comment and, and subscribe. Your interaction is really helpful and greatly appreciated. Check the description box for links to the products used. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.